because I don't believe in the notion of a self-made man uh, because everybody is who they are based on the people that have been to see. So I always appreciate people that have been in my life since I was young and uh, hopefully take what they have taught me and, and input into other people because good leaders can, uh, good leaders lead well but great leaders train other leaders. There is no such thing as a safe seat. There is no such thing as a seat that we can take for granted. So even from the campaign get-go, uh, I was on the ground, I was speaking to the people, and I was understanding their needs. Because I was not just campaigning to win the elections, but speaking to the people actually, so I can better understand them, so I can better serve them beyond the election. Friends of mine, uh, we started an NGO called the Malaysian Medical Fellowship. So with that, NGO, we actually go to poor areas to provide free medical treatment, free medical clinics and everything. So from there, even in South Asia, from there I see firsthand how uh, policies keep certain people oppressed, keep certain people poor. So while charities, NGO works are great in the sense that we feed the, we feed the hungry, we heal the hurt. But there are policies that still keep them oppressed, there are still policies that keep them poor. So they need, we need people to be in the policy sphere to influence them. Because I feel a full transformation of society happens when the grassroots, which is like the NGOs, CSOs, help the people and also the policy makers come in between. There is a full transformation of society. So I decided to uh, try and influence the political sphere. I always say this, I have laksa flowing through my brain, veins. So, uh, in terms of culture, in terms of language, so far, so, so far, it's so good. So far, it's so good. I'm enjoying it, I'm excited. Of course, uh, I'm learning new things every day. One of the things that I want to bring to Malakuching is to bring life to Malakuching. As you can see and experience for yourself, Malakuching has so much culture, so much history. But one of the things that's happening in Sarawak in general is a lot of the young people are leaving. The young people are finding better job opportunities in KL, in Singapore, and overseas. So I want to bring some vibrancy back into this city to see uh, more young people to come back and to play their part and to build the job and build Sarawak as a whole. Even though we are rich in resources, even though we are rich in uh, a lot of minerals, but then uh, we are still so lacking them a lot. So I believe that uh, to forge greater Malaysia barrenness or Malaysia greater national identity in us, uh, we must start at a, at a clean slate, we must start at a proper understanding of who we are as a federation, and that's one of the things I want to see. In the next, of course, the near future, I will, I will, I will honor and uh, try my best to. to to use this platform that was given to me to bring the interests of the people up to parliament and also fight for their rights. Um, at the end of the day, for me, position is not important. So there are many ways to give back and to be part of nation building, not just in politics, but at least for this near future. Um, I, I will honour that, that mandate that the people have given.